Now let's get to pressure testing. Pressure test last. Pressure testing is invasive. Pressure testing is not clear and cut and concise. Sometimes you have to cut pipe. Sometimes you have to break eyeballs out of wall fittings. They don't come out, they plaster them in. They're stuck in there. There's a lot of reasons why I don't even pressure test every single leak detection job. I, I hardly pressure test most of them. I use static method, methods, but pressure testing is absolutely necessary, especially if you locate a leak in the static mode. So you could take a static cone and you could prove positive that a line is leaking and that's gonna tell you that it's leaking but it's not gonna tell you where. That's where this stuff comes into play. And let's talk about safety first. Again, pressure testing can be dangerous. You always have to keep low pressures. There's no reason to ever get over 12 pounds, 15 pounds max. Um, there's a lot of people in the industry say, that, oh, it's louder when we have more pressure in it. That's 100% false. We prove that, we have audio, we have decibel readings, and there's no reason ever to bring your pressures up over 12 to 15 pounds. We have solid plugs, and then we have induction plugs. The induction plugs work with our pressure rig, and that allows us, when we pressure test, I emphasize test, it's water only. Water and air compress differently, so when we pressure test, we wanna use water only. When we locate a leak in a line, we wanna use a combination of water and then short bursts of air. We bring in the air quick. We don't drag it in. If you drag in the air, again, watch our videos when we get into complete depth about pressure testing and leak locating. But again, it's water, 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 and then quick burst of air, never letting it get over that 12 to 15 pounds. Let it drop to seven, give it another hit of air, real quick. Don't drag it in slow, real quick with the air. That's gonna build it up. And again, pressure testing is a two person job. You cannot do this on your own. You can't lay this on a deck, run your air water, run, throw your headphones on and listen. It won't work and it's dangerous. To leave this unattended and running up, again, you could build that pressure up, a plug could blow out and it could hurt somebody, it could do property damage. Do you don't wanna do that. Who's ever pressure testing and running the rig needs to not use their phone. Don't take a text, don't take a phone call. Pay attention to this gauge. Somebody's listening, somebody's the rigs, that's how it gets done. We do it in skimmer lines, return lines, spa venturis. We prove positive that it's leaking with water and then we'll hit it with air water combo and then we'll use our deck plate or we'll use our soil probe. Soil probe is gonna be used in the grassy areas and in the anything soft landscape, artificial turf, regular grass or whatever it is. Our deck plate can be used over pavers, over concrete, over sun deck over anything that's a solid surface. And you're listening for nothing like what you heard with our hydrophones, you're listening for the boil. So water, 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 you're building and trying to pull that water around the pipe. And when you give it a burst of air, it's gonna create that very distinct boiling sound. That's how we use a pressure rig to find those leaks and to both pressure it up and to find those leaks. Stay tuned for our final chapter, turning leak detections into repairs.